James Kaufman, World News Report, today, March 14, 2024. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Well, just a few hours ago, it looks like about seven hours ago, Earth's electromagnetic field had some disturbances in it, and they were not overly significant, but they are visible up to about three or four hundred hertz. So you regularly never ever see this while you're having space weather. I didn't think it was even possible. Regularly that would equate well into not much action at all, but the Schumann resonance spiked off the charts, going against everything I thought I'd learned about it, with our shields up around our planet. Schumann residents still shot up to very high levels off the charts here at 105 hertz. And you can see how hard the geophone was getting hit at this point. And this is the seven hours ago, right? Now, this happened prior to this almost all day as well on the 14th today. So today was wicked. And I did see rain over the modeling station but I didn't see electricity. And I'm going to show you that CERN is, well, according to their dashboard, turned off currently. Now, if y'all know a little bit about string theory, theories of all, super string theory, uh, they believe in different vibrations, i.e. in megahertz, uh, being different dimensions. And they believe mathematically there's between 9 and maybe 27, maybe more dimensions. Well, today, off the charts here, the charts were only made up here to 50 hertz. Because before, uh, well, 2017, when these modeling stations were prepared and these geophones were set up, the Schumann residents had never gone over 35 hertz. Now, my belief is is that our atmosphere, what's called our E and F sections of our atmosphere, have disappeared or am, are disappearing. Not the tutorial I usually use, but this should work. Basically, the Schumann resonance is a energy, most of the times in form of lightning. And what happens is, is it bounces off the trophosphere and then bounces back up to the magnetosphere and depending on how high our atmosphere and ionosphere are well it returns with less energy to the geophones well since that has been depleting here we see 375 miles maybe it's more like 300 miles now since 2017 the Schumann resonance has been increasing each year noticeably all right now, just to verify, we'll take a look at our geophones, our ULF noise, ultra low frequency, and ELF noise, extremely low frequencies, and our second FSR frequency. Everything's pretty much responding how we thought it would. Geophones must be becoming less and less covered with snow, and they're starting to respond again. And of course, our ULF antenna. And ELF antenna responding, and our SR frequency is dipping right when it's supposed to. So this is the real event, probably caused by lightning storms in or around the area. Now, granted, the Schumann residence has disappeared. I don't see any lightning where this station is up by Geneva here. There's a pocket here in the uh, Mediterranean, excuse me. With that said, we also had the storm move through. And I don't have much information on it. It does to look like it would have been over the area with thunderstorms during the time of the Schumann resident spikes, which lasted for 24 hours. So we're currently just getting out of a G2, G1 geomagnetic storm. And we've had an increase in Schumann residents considerably, at least in some parts of the globe. And... Ladies and gentlemen, I'm exhausted personally. Let me know if uh, this affects you and how it does. 
Medically, they believe that it affects human beings and that we need to return to our resting rate of 7.83 hertz, although during testing, they've decided that a increase in vibrations up to 13, 14, 15 hertz shows a significant increase in both cognitive and physical skills. As long as your body is allowed to go back down and regenerate, again, 7.83 Earth's natural heartbeat there. With that said, the 14th has been heck, obviously, with these spikes off the chart, um, at least coming from our Italian modeling station, a uh, uh, good part of the day. God bless you and yours, folks. Tell me what you think this means. Obviously, I'm a math guy, and higher vibrations does mean higher frequency mathematically. However, uh, I don't know what to believe. Please share, subscribe, and always remember, anything's possible in the bizarro world.